What's up guys, it's Josie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my friend Molly. Hey everybody. Today we have a very special video for you. We're going to be doing some adaptive yoga on the floor slash bed. So let's get started. In last week's video, Molly took us through a routine that worked on centering our breathing, our spinal mobility, our functional mobility, and challenged our balance. We also talked about some important reasons why someone in a wheelchair should be actively stretching. And now we're gonna get down on the floor. We're just gonna go through some stretches you can do in the morning or night. Um, we'll start out actually just with our legs in front of us. Um, now I want you to be aware of your autonomic dysreflexia. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, autonomic dysreflexia is just a sign that your body is telling you that something's wrong. Maybe you're stretching a little bit too much. Um, you know, I do get a little bit of autonomic dysreflexia sometimes if I'm overstretching. I know that means I need to pull back a little bit. So maybe notice that. Are you getting goosebumps? Are you starting to sweat? Um, maybe make the stretch a little bit less intense. Please be aware of that. We don't want you pulling anything, especially because we might have altered sensation. Okay, so we're gonna start out with our feet in front of us. What I like to do if I don't have a strap to facilitate straight legs is first of all, again, I always like to make sure I'm seated. I make sure that I'm stable and my sits bones are good to go. And then what we're gonna do is slowly, we're gonna sit up tall, bringing our hands to the outsides of our legs. And then we're gonna slowly, keeping that straight back, walk our hands forward until we feel like that's a good stretch for us. Now, if you can, you can walk all the way down. But if you can't right now, what you're gonna do is use your hands to turn your knees in to facilitate straighter legs. Good job. This is gonna give us a better um, hamstring stretch. So slowly again, you can begin, full, if you're using your hands to hold those legs straight, begin bending those elbows, but facilitating that straight spine, you can lean forward until you feel you should stop. If you can reach your feet, what you're gonna do is walk those hands down so that your forearms are blocking your legs straight and you're gonna use your hands to facilitate that 90 degree angle in those ankles. That's gonna give you an, a much more of an extreme stretch. I don't know if Josie felt it, but I definitely did when I pulled those feet up. I immediately felt small goosebumps, just a teeny bit of sweating, but it looks like it's already starting to subside. Um, so just make sure you're protecting yourself. Your gaze is looking down. We're just really holding here for now. We're stretching out the lower back. Just breathing here. Our goal is gonna to be to hold each stretch for 45 to 90 seconds. From 45 to 60 seconds, what we're doing is um, keeping our flexibility at its range that it's at. At about 60 to 90 is when we're starting to change our flexibility. So we want to make sure that we are holding our stretches in order to facilitate either at least maintaining our flexibility. Beautiful job. And then when you're ready, slowly dropping your hands, and then maybe starting to walk them back one hand at a time. Slowly watching your blood pressure, watching your autonomic dysreflexia, making sure we're not doing anything weird with our legs. Ooh, my feet are stretching a little bit more from that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is bringing one of our legs up. What I want you to do is either bring your foot to your calf muscle or to your thigh, but I do not want your foot at your knee. We don't wanna put it at our knee. So whichever is best for us, and then we're just gonna let that leg fall open so that the flat of our foot is pushing the inside of our thigh. Beautiful job. What we're gonna do now is that same thing. We're gonna sit tall, bringing our hands down in front of us, and then we're gonna slowly walk them forward. I want us again to facilitate this leg, um, make sure that it's straight, that it's rolled forward, and slowly walk out. Now, if you can only stay here, that's perfectly okay. This is a huge stretch. If you can, you can walk all the way down again, and then we're gonna facilitate that 90 degree bend in our foot. Beautiful job. We always wanna be flexing this foot if we can, if we can reach it. Um, another way, if at, you're at home and maybe you have um, a blanket, a towel, a band, you can always bring the band around your foot to pull it into that 90 degree angle. Beautiful job. Holding here. And 
And again, while we're holding these stretches, we wanna make sure we're breathing. When our body feels that it's tensing up, especially during stretches, we'll start making our breathing more shallow in order to relax the body, if we take a little bit deeper breaths, we're gonna ease that. The body's gonna think, ah, it's not stressed out, it's okay. It's gonna start to relax those muscles. Beautiful job. All right, when you're ready, if you had a strap, unreleasing, unre and then slowly walking your hands back up that leg. Awesome. Before we switch, we're going to take this bend over our knee. So you may notice that you need more room. Maybe you're going to move your foot down. Maybe you need less room. You're going to move it up. But we're just going to facilitate a straight spine before. And then again, we're going to turn toward our opposite, our, our knee instead this time. And we're slowly just going to walk until our hands are at our knee. And then we're going to bend those elbows. So tuck our elbows just like we did before into our rib cage as we slowly come down over top of the knee. Beautiful job. Holding here. Really just opening up those hips right now. Again, making sure we're breathing. Beautiful job. And when you're ready, slowly inhaling, walking your hands back up, and then switching out your legs. We're going to do the other side. So again, just making sure that um, our extended leg is straight. We're going to bend the opposite leg that was extended before. Um, maybe you know that you have different flexibility in this. I'm actually going to bring this leg down to my calf because I had knee surgery and it's feeling a little bit tighter. Um, so just to protect it. So what we're going to do again is inhale, bringing our hands flat to the mat, providing, um, helping pull our spine into that straight spine before we slowly walk our hands forward. And as we're walking them forward, rotating that leg so that we're bringing it into a, facilitating a straight turn here, and then using our hands or our strap to pull our foot into that 90 degree angle. Beautiful job. Woo, I am sweating on this stretch. I don't know if I could have brought it up for me. Beautiful job. And when we're ready, slowly walking those hands up. Sure, we're protecting everything. And then we're gonna do we're going to lean over top of our bent knee this time. So again, inhale, sitting straight up. We're going to take our hands, our thigh is gonna be between uh, our hands, or maybe if we have our foot higher up, um, our knee is between our hands, whatever works for you. We're gonna inhale and then slowly walk our hands out to the front of our knee, tucking those elbows into our ribcage and slowly bending them keeping that spine straight as we fold forward. Beautiful job. You can come down to your forearms if that feels more comfortable for you. Again, working on our breathing, just making sure that we're taking deep, long breaths here. We're not taking short, shallow breaths. We're letting our body know that we're relaxing, we're stretching out. Beautiful job. When you're ready to seat it. This time what we're going to do is bring our feet, both feet flats of our feet together. So we're going to bend both of our feet together and we're going to come into our butterfly sit, our ring sit position. Making sure that you're stable here. Uh, I like to use my ankles to keep me forward here because I will fall backwards if I don't. Um, so maybe just finding your point of stability here before we start. Also making sure that your feet aren't too far in, aren't too far out. We do want to get a good stretch here, um, but making sure that again, you're protecting yourself from AD. So what we're going to do here is bring in our hands, our 
our thumbs into the flats of our feet, maybe just loosely wrapping our hands around our feet. Um, if we don't have full function of our hands, maybe just guiding them into place here. And then using maybe our wrists if we need to, if we don't have great grip strength in our hands, using our wrists to pull us forward, facilitating that straight posture once again and then bringing our, the flats of our hands down to the mat and slowly walking them. This time we're not gonna be able to get quite as far forward because this is gonna be an extreme stretch. So just come out to where you feel comfortable. If you can come down to your forearms, feel free to do that. Just make sure you're protecting yourself here. Beautiful job. As you're sitting here, I really want you to be pushing your palms into the mat so that we're activating our back as we're pulling ourselves forward over top of those feet. Beautiful job, kind of just adding another layer to this hip stretch. Holding here, breathing. And when we're ready, slowly sliding those hands back. Beautiful job. We'll just take a couple more before we close up for the day. We're gonna extend both of our legs long in front of us. And then what we're gonna do is if we can, we're gonna bring one of our feet up. We're gonna bring it across our knee here. And if, you, if this is too extreme of a stretch for you, if you're like, I'm getting a D, I'm sweating, please feel free to keep your knee inside of your leg. If you can, go ahead and bring it outside. And what we're gonna do is bring our opposite hand over top, maybe hugging that knee to give us stability here. And then we're gonna drop our hand of our bent leg back behind our hip. Beautiful job. So again, as with those twists that we did earlier, we're gonna inhale sitting tall and then exhale coming into this twist. Maybe looking over our shoulder if our mobility allows. But again, on our inhales, we wanna be growing tall and then on our exhales, we're twisting in here. Beautiful job. This is gonna give us a great stretch on the outside of our hip. Holding here, making sure we're breathing. Again, on our inhales, we're growing tall. On our exhales, we're twisting in. Exhale, unwinding. We're just gonna switch legs here. So letting that leg drop out and bending your one straight leg. Again, you can bring your foot to the inside of your thigh or to the outside. Outside of your thigh is gonna give you a little bit more of a stretch through that hip. We're gonna hug our knee with our opposite arm and then planting that hand behind our hip. We're gonna inhale sitting tall and then exhale twisting in here. Beautiful job. Again, to make sure we're breathing here, we're inhales, we're growing, we're breathing space between those vertebrae, and on our exhales, we're twisting a little bit deeper. We're anchoring in a little bit more. Beautiful job. And when you're ready, exhale, unwinding. All right, beautiful job today. Um, I think that's a good series to be able to run through in the morning or night just to get some hip stretches, um, some low back and the outside of the hips. Thanks for joining, Molly. Hope we learned a lot. Thanks so much, you guys. <laughs>